Good morning from San Liurfa. Just finished breakfast. We got some time to kill. We got an extra day. We made up with all the fast driving these two have done. So we're going to take a lazy day. Drive just outside of Cappadocia, which is a front of this nation. So that's a five hour drive. Cappadocia is a six hour, so we're going to get an hour outside of Cappadocia today. But no big rush to do anything. So just finished breakfast at the hotel and we're going to go walk and check out the local bazaar. Bazaar! Picking up my scarves. I think I got enough gifts for everybody now. Not too expensive. Ten bucks? Pretty good price. Doing some shopping, we've already got our scarves. It's wrapping up now, gonna find some prayer beads, some more gifts, and that's about it. So that was a far, funny bartering experience. He told me they were three each. And uh, I said, I tried to get them two for five, and then the guy goes, oh, here, just take a third. Got three for five. Awesome bartering skills. So how long were we driving? Uh, yeah, two hours. Two hours? Two and a bit. Two and a half hours. Stopping for lunch right now, late lunch. All the cars are diverting off the freeway and they got armed police over there. We can't understand what's going on. They got a spike strip in the middle of the freeway, so something must be going down right now. Okay, after checking out some hotel rooms in this town called Nigje, we're stuck. Uh, the one that Lonely Planet recommended, the only one in Lonely Planet, walked up to the front door and construction workers are there. We thought, oh, this is a shady part of town. Sure enough, hotel's being built. So, walked around a couple other places. Uh, first one we checked out was a pitch black lobby, uh, an elevator up without a barrier door between the floors going up so theoretically if you stuck your hand out you'd bust your or lose your hand anyways uh the room smelled like moss so we walked down a block and thankfully we found this gem of a place uh so we're pretty stoked to not be sleeping in a musk filled hotel room today got some nice looking turkish pastries here can't tell what exactly they are but we've uh they've got timbit size Regular churro size from the box. All right, here we go. Let's find out what these things are. It's gotta be really bad for you. I feel the grease. Put it on your hand. No. I don't know. What is that? It's literally like sweet. It's good. It's like a really greasy churro. Right. Here's our meal for the night. We got a kebab, and they got fries stuffed in there, lettuce, chicken, and pickles. Was it or cucumbers? Pickles. How is it so far, Daryl? Good. Good. You like it? Very good. Dunk. More starch, but it's good. All right. Let's have a go. Yeah. It's better than a lot of the other stuff we buy. Less starchy though, because it's a thin, thin bread. So that meal for all of us came to 13, 12, 13.50, which works out to 7.25. No, 7. Or no, 6.25. 6.25. Yeah. Six something. Ah, no, six, no, six, six bucks for the three of us. <laughs> Up in this fancy elevator. Oh, I guess I should. No, oh, you pressed it. Thank you. 
Why do we travel to this guy? Alright, give me a hand. Give me a hand, like a local. <laughs> like a local, just let it be. Go with it. Go with it. Hello. Light just went out in our hotel room. Hey! <laughs> That's a two-year shirtless. <laughs>